Hi, it's Jason with LogFurnituresPlace.com. Today we're going to watch as Josh assembles the Lakeland Mills Contoured Comfort 5-foot porch swing. Now the tools that you'll need are a tape measure, rubber mallet, hammer, and a socket set or a drill with a 7 16 socket. Start assembly, lay the seat out and grab the two seat ends. Attach both seat ends to the seat, making sure that the hole for the arm support is facing the front of the seat. A couple taps of the rubber mallet will seat the seat end onto the seat of the porch swing. Once those are in, we'll grab the arm supports. Just insert those into the seat ends you just put on. And then attach the arms. Once the arms are attached, you'll then insert the pre-assembled back into the swing seat. Just line the tenons of the back up into the holes in the seat and a couple of taps with a rubber mallet will seat the two together. Okay, now we're going to attach the arm to the back. So with your socket or the drill, you're going to insert the leg bolt into this hole that's in the arm. So just push the arm up, lining the leg bolt into the hole, then use the drill or the socket to screw the leg bolt into the arm. We'll then repeat that on the other side of the swing. Line the leg bolt up with the hole. Once it's lined up, then just tighten the leg bolt. Now grab a couple of the screws that came in with the hardware. And what we're going to do is insert the screws so they lock the tenons of the arm supports into the arm, and then repeat that on the seat end so it locks the tenon into the seat end. Repeat that on the opposite side of the swing. This will just ensure that the pieces do not come apart later on. Now at the back of the swing, do the same thing, put a screw in locking the tenon at the back into the log of the seat, the back log of the seat. Now tip your swing up and we're going to insert screws into the bottom to lock the seat ends onto the seat. You may notice some of the checking or cracking in the logs. This is completely normal. And read more about checking and the process of checking on our website. Repeat the process of putting the screws in on the opposite side of the swing. Now it's time to measure on the arm where to attach the swing bar assembly. Through our studies we found that 15 inches is the most comfortable for most people. However, you can adjust this to fit your comfort level, your wants and desires. So once that's measured, we'll then attach the eye bolts into the swing bars. So attach a washer to an eye bolt, then take a barrel nut, feed that in to the hole of the swing bar. And then once it's lined up with the hole, take your eye bolt, 
feed it through the hole in the top of the swing bar and into the barrel nut. Tighten the eye bolt until it is securely fastened. Which may take a few turns. And then repeat the process for the opposite side. Now take two leg bolts and put washers on. And we're going to insert the leg bolt into the holes of the swing bar. There will be one hole at the bottom. And once the leg bolt is through that hole, you'll then insert it into a starter hole on the seat end. Then just tighten the leg bolt up with your drill or socket set. And then we'll insert the leg bolt into the second hole. And this will want to line up with the measurement that you made on the arm. Now the more forward it is, let's say if you measured out to 15 and a half or 16 inches, the more tilt the seat will have. The farther you move it back, so 14 inches, then the less tilt the seat will have. So now we just repeat the process on the other side of the swing, measure out the 15 inches, line the leg bolts up in the swing bar with the hole in the seat end on the bottom. Tighten that leg bolt up. And then insert the leg bolt into the second hole and into the spot that you marked previously with the tape measure and pen or marker. This is rustic furniture, so the measurements do not have to be exact. Once the swing bars are attached, attach the S-hooks into the eye bolts. And you're now ready to hang the porch swing on your porch or on one of our A-frames. There's the finished porch swing on an A-frame, making it a yard swing. Our swings are made in America, right here in Michigan. They're made of northern white cedar, so they'll last outdoors, finished or without a finish. If you like the new look of the wood as it is Right here, you'd want to finish it right away, otherwise it will weather to a silvery gray color. Our swings are very comfortable. As with all of our outdoor furniture, we use these contoured seat slats, which will contour to the natural curve of the body. Most bodies. And to order your porch swing or your log swing or any other log furniture, just visit us online, logfurnitureplace.com.